Pro Tools, it's very easy to make selections on adjacent tracks. So we can click and drag to make a selection on one track. If we want to make a selection on multiple adjacent tracks, we can also click and drag horizontally and then just drag down vertically as well. So that's an easy way to make a selection on an adjacent track. You can make non-adjacent track selections by selecting the area you want and then shift and clicking with the selector tool the additional tracks you would like to add to your selection. So making adjacent selections and making non-adjacent track selections. Yes, I know, another button. So the Enable Link Track and Edit Selection button is this button right here. The Enable Link Track and Edit Selection button allows you to make a selection and apply that selection to a variety of tracks. So if we just click on this nameplate, you'll see that the selection moves to whichever track I select. Also, if we want to add additional tracks to our selection, we can do that by holding down the Shift key and then clicking on additional tracks we want to add. If we want to have this edit selection apply across multiple tracks, we can shift click and go down to the bottom track we want to include, and it'll include all the subsequent tracks in that selection. Also, we can use the option key command to deselect certain tracks as well. So this enables us to add and remove tracks from our selection at will. In standard mode, the tab key tabs between clip boundaries. So you can see our cursor right here, our edit cursor. Each time that I click on the tab key, it's going to move to the next clip boundary. So as I hit the tab key again, it moves to the end of this clip. The next time I hit it, it will move here. And here the next time. So you can see that this is a rapid way that you can tab through your individual clip boundaries. Now the tab key is also a repeater key, so if you hold it down, it's going to continue to send multiple rapid tab keys. You remember the option modifier key, when pressed, one of its functions is to reverse the direction. So now that we're at the end of our song, if we want to, we can tab back through our clip boundaries as well. So option and tab moves us one boundary at a time. Here, here, there. Option tab moves backwards through our clip boundaries and tab moves forward. We can also select a specific clip by doing the same thing. So we can tab to the front of that boundary. If we want to select that entire clip, we can do that by shift and tab. If, for example, we had multiple edits in here and we wanted to select all of them, uh, we could do that as well. First, I could press tab to get to the first clip boundary and then shift and ha hold down tab while I am adding those additional clips to my selection. If we would like to select these clips here again and our cursor is here, we can Option and Tab to get back to this boundary and then Option, Shift and Tab to add each selection as we go backwards. So Tab moves forward through our selection, Option, Tab moves back, Tab and Shift Tab to select, moving forward, and Option, Shift, Tab to select, moving back. Tab to Transient is a variation on the standard Tab to Clip Boundaries functions of the Tab key. 
You can turn Tab to Transient on up here with this button, the Tab to Transient button. You can also use a shortcut, which is Option, Command, Tab. That will turn the Tab to Transient button on and off. So with the Tab to Transient button on, the functionality of the Tab key changes, and each time you select the Tab key, it moves to the next detected transient. So if I click the Tab key, it's going to take me here. Next time, it will most likely take me there. So each time I select the Tab key, it's going to move me to the next detectable transient. This can come in real handy. So for example, if we wanted to tab to this bass drum, and then we wanted to select from there to there and delete it, we could do that by Shift, Tab, and now we could delete all of that information from one transient point to the next. The other keys that we discussed earlier also apply. So if we want to tab to transient backwards, we can do that. Option and Tab key. And we can also select Shift, Tab key moving forward. And then also Option, Shift, Tab key moving backwards. So a slight variation on the Tab key called Tab to Transient. There are many elements of our session view that we can adjust. The first I wanted to talk about was adjusting the track size. You can adjust the track size of any track or all tracks in a Pro Tools session fairly easily. There is a disclosure triangle right here that if you click on it will give you all of the options that are available for the track height. Anywhere from micro to fit in window, which will take your whole edit window. Obviously, these larger views can be very helpful if you're trying to do some in-depth editing and you want to have more data available to see. So this is one way you can change the track height is right here with this disclosure triangle. You can also do the same thing by clicking right here. And this particular area is called the Amplitude Scale area. So you can click on there and you'll see you'll get the same exact information. You can also adjust the track height by just clicking on the divider line between individual tracks. You can click here and drag up and down and you can see that the track height will adjust accordingly. And will be snapping to these various heights that you may have selected here. If you want to have non-incremental adjustments, you can do the same thing by clicking on that and using the Command Modifier key to adjust the track height non-incrementally. So adjusting track height incrementally and non-incrementally by clicking and then pressing the Command key and then moving. You can also adjust all of the tracks to be the same height at the same time. You can do this by using the Option Modifier key. Remember, one of the available options for the Option Modifier key is Select All. So if you do that and go Select All and then drag, it will change all of the heights of all of the tracks. You can also do that here. There may be numerous reasons that you want to change the order of your tracks in Pro Tools. Some of those might be that you might want to group like instruments together or perhaps group like tracks together. So for example, maybe all of your auxiliary tracks and all of your audio tracks. Or perhaps you want all of your drum tracks together or all of your guitar tracks together. So reordering your tracks can be helpful in organizing your session. You change the track order 
by simply grabbing the track and moving it. So you can click on a track and just move it and it will change it to a new location. You can also click and select multiple tracks and move those to a new location as well. You can also change the track order in your mix and edit windows by moving the tracks in your tracks list. So this is another way that you can move your tracks in your edit and mix windows is by moving them actually inside the track list. Okay, that's probably enough data for this particular video. In the final video, we're going to discuss some of the additional tools uh, that are in the toolbar, as well as how to add markers to your session. So we'll see you then.